G'day everyone, Tim from BMix here, and today we're taking a look at how you can present your PowerPoint presentation remotely using the Present Live option, and how you can add it as an input into vMix. There are a few ways to add PowerPoint into your vMix production, so I'm going to quickly go over those now. Now firstly, you could have the vMix producer controlling the PowerPoint slides. Secondly, you could have the presenter being local or on the premises and controlling their own slides on their own computer. And thirdly, you could have the presenter being remote and controlling their own slides using Present Live or using a couple of other options that I'll mention at the end. The Present Live option basically runs PowerPoint in the cloud, and then you can use a URL to access the real-time PowerPoint slides as they're being played out. So then you can add that URL into vMix and use it as a part of your production. Now, if you can see one of your scenarios here, feel free to go ahead and jump through to the chapter of your choice. Now, if the vMix producer is going to be advancing through the presentation, then you can just load your PowerPoint file directly into vMix. Now, this is going to convert your slides into images so that you can cycle through them in vMix. Now, you will have to have PowerPoint installed on your vMix PC if you want to use this option. Now, this can be done by going through to Add Input and then going to the PowerPoint option here and then browsing for your PowerPoint file and then clicking OK. So I've got one here that I prepared before and I'm going to click OK down the bottom. So what this is going to do is convert these slides into images to use to go through in your production as you can see here. Now unfortunately this isn't going to include your cool PowerPoint transitions, audio or your videos. You'd need to use vMix for that and use some of the features of vMix to add different things to the presentation like videos and audio and that sort of thing. Now if you are needing to use these transitions in your presentation, like your video and audio, then you can actually create a shareable link from PowerPoint or the web PowerPoint, and then use that as a web browser input in vMix. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that now. So I've opened up my local PowerPoint version here, and in the top right-hand corner, you'll see a share option. Now, if I click on that, I'll have the opportunity to upload it to my OneDrive. So I'm gonna upload it to the OneDrive so I can create an online link for my PowerPoint presentation. So once that's uploaded, I'll be able to grab a link from that. So it's uploading in process, it's saved now. So if I go back up to share, then I'll be able to grab the link here. So I've copied this link here. Now what I need to do now is go back to vMix. All right, so now I'm back in vMix. So what I'm gonna do now is go to add input, and then I'm gonna go down to the web browser option, and then just paste in my shareable link that I have from PowerPoint and click OK. Now that's going to load up my PowerPoint presentation right here. And so now I can use it as a part of my production. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and get rid of this here. And then I'm gonna to go to slideshow, I think. And then I'm gonna present it from the beginning. So as you can see, I now have my PowerPoint presentation in my production and I can use it like a normal web browser option. I can go through the slides here like so and it'll use all of my cool transitions. I can even play this video now. So if I turn on the audio for this, I can play the video. And you should be able to hear the audio from that video file, and I can pause it directly from here as well. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it will give you your transitions and your video files and that sort of thing if you want to use it that way. So that's how you do it. You can go through to PowerPoint, grab that shareable link, and then bring that directly into vMix. The vMix producer could also be running their own laptop or computer with PowerPoint on it. Then grab the PowerPoint slides from the presenter, load them up onto the computer, and then use the desktop capture to bring in the presentation to the vMix production. But I'll go over a little bit more about that in the next section. Okay, if your presenter is going to be on the premises and they wanna control their own slides, then the best option is probably going to be using the desktop capture from the presenter's computer. So this can be done by adding their computer to the local network and then grabbing their presenter's screen via NDI using the vMix desktop capture program. Now using this method, the presenter will be able to use their full PowerPoint presentation, be control of what they're presenting, and then give you the best option directly into the vMix production using the desktop capture. Now you could also output their presentation via HDMI from their computer screen and then add that to your production via HDMI capture device or something like that, that's another option as well to give you a great quality feed. So in order to do that, you would just go to add input and then you would go up to NDI and you'd be able to see their NDI desktop here that you can add into your production. If your presenter is remote, 
and they want to control the presentation that's in your vMix production, then you could take a look at using the Present Live option. Now this is available in the web version of PowerPoint in Office 365. This used to be called Present Online, but it's recently been replaced with Present Live. Now they are similar in the way that they work, but the Present Live option now has a lot more collaborative features with Teams and uh, different things that you can add like subtitles and different things. They don't really apply to vMix, so it's pretty much the same way as the old way. Now when you're using PowerPoint, you can generate a link that you can hand out to viewers and then interact with the presentation. So we can then take this URL and add it into vMix as a web browser input so we can show it in our production. So whoever is using uh, PowerPoint for presenting, they will need to use the web version of PowerPoint for Office 365. Now you can do that by just logging into Office 365 online. Now, first of all, they'll need to navigate to slideshow and then present live. So I'm gonna open up my presentation here. So I've got my PowerPoint presentation here and what I'll need to do is go to slideshow and then go to present live. Now there's a little menu down here. Now I think you do need to select anyone here so you can have somebody else presenting this like a guest contributor here and so we can see it in vMix. So I'm just gonna click anyone and then what I can do is go ahead and click present live. So we can go ahead and present this. So what that'll do is open up a screen here, show you a little bit of information, and it will allow you to select a URL. So I can select this URL here, copy it, and then I can bring that directly into vMix. So what I'm gonna do is now click show slides so it's ready to go. So now I'm over here in vMix. I'm just gonna go down to add input, go to web browser, and then copy in that URL up the top there. And then I'm going to click OK. So now you can see it is now loaded up into my production and I'm ready to go. Now I can make some adjustments here, like I can move this over. Now if I didn't, if I wanted to get rid of the small control areas down here, I can go into the position area and I can adjust this to say 1.1. That should remove the stuff from the corner so you can't see it anymore. All right, so now I'm over here and I've got my presentation ready to go and I can go through the slide. As you can see, it's now appearing in vMix. So I can go through and I can display my presentation. Now you will notice that the a lot of the transitions don't work and also the audio and video doesn't work on autoplay. So unfortunately, you would still need to get them to prompt you to turn on the video file. So as you can see here, I'm pressing play on the presentation and it's not coming through to vMix. However, if I go over to vMix, I can actually play this like so. So I can actually play that in the production. However, um, they would need to prompt me as it's not going to autoplay. So that's something that you would need to keep in mind. So that's how you can use the present live option in PowerPoint for bringing that content into vMix. Now, another option for a remote presenter might be to use advanced.vmixcall.com and that way they could share their screen. However, it's probably not going to be the best quality for displaying PowerPoint presentations. They would be able to only share one screen at a time as well. So you can either only share your screen or your camera, which may not be optimal for your production. If you're looking for remote control over PowerPoint for live productions, then there are a number of options out there available already. Software such as Internet Clicker and The Pickle allow you to have a remote presenter control your local copy of PowerPoint. So basically you can install PowerPoint to your own computer, have that running and install one of these programs that allows a remote person to see what you're displaying and then control that. Then what you need to do is then just capture your screen via NDI and bring that into your production. Now this is going to provide the highest quality experience because it's coming directly from a screen capture of PowerPoint. And it also gives the presenter the option to control it at their own pace. There are plenty of people that have been using this method with vMix during the pandemic. And I'll link a video in the description or up here somewhere with a video on how they're doing it and you can check out their setup. So with any of these PowerPoint and vMix options, it's going to be best to trial them out and see which one is going to work best for you. Some might offer higher quality experiences, but then others might be more convenient. So you might need to weigh up and see which one works best. Definitely try them out before going live. And remember the three rules of live streaming to test, test, and test again.
If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email via the contact form on vmix.com. Now, please keep in mind that we didn't make PowerPoint, so we won't be able to troubleshoot any sort of specific PowerPoint issues that you might have. Now, we have had feature suggestions in the past regarding remote control of PowerPoint from vmix call. However, this is not something that's in our pipeline. There's already software that does allow for remote control of PowerPoint, which is going to be far better and more featured than what we could offer. So I'd recommend checking out the link in the description to that video that I was talking about, about Internet Clicker, or checking out Google for other remote control options for PowerPoint. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.